I'm Angela from SpinachTiger.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a Brussels sprouts shallot pizza. Um, there is also a video on how to get to this point. Here's my pizza dough. This is a great recipe so you can already go ahead and watch that. There will be a, a link at the link. In other words, there's a link to this recipe which will link you to the pizza dough. So what I'm going to do is um, tell you how I started. And the first thing I did was crisp up some bacon. Um, we're gonna probably use uh, about two pieces of bacon per maybe eight, 10 inch pizza. And chop some, or sliced real thin, some shallots. Now shallots is um, one of my favorite things. I think it's kind of an elegant onion has almost a little garlicky flavor to it. And then I'm gonna show you one of the important things and that is how to cut your Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna leave the end on and kind of hold it by the end. So don't take the stem off first. And then I'm gonna slice, of course you need a good chef's knife. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. And I'm just gonna, you don't have to be super fast doing this either. In fact, take your time. I'm gonna to try to go as thin as possible because really what I wanna do is shred. Okay, now that I've shredded and I kind of even like pull it apart a little bit. So you see that this also makes a great salad by the way, and you'll find a Brussels sprouts shredded salad at the website also. Okay, so that's how I do that. And what I've done from there is I've sauteed this together with the shallots, about a tablespoon of oil in a, in a pan until an, on a kind of a medium low heat till I got this. It's all softened. The shallots are softened because I don't really want those shallots to have any kind of crunch in the pizza. Now we're gonna put the pizza together. Okay, so I've got my pizza dough. Flour it up, and then, and then I'm gonna start kind of pressing, 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 pressing from the middle out to the edge. Pizza dough is funny, it's like full of air. I'm gonna roll it out a little bit. You hear that? Because this is not a pizza joint. Let's get some of the air out. And I'll take it from the edges. Okay, now I've got, it's, it's misshapen. It's not gonna be perfect like those pizza parlors because this is, this is homemade pizza. And what we're gonna do first is take the Brussels sprouts and you want it all covered. So just use, use enough to cover what you have. So it's probably about maybe eight Brussels sprouts per, per pizza. Because once they shred down, they, they kind of reduce in size. Then we're gonna take our mozzarella cheese. We'll have a little bit of the Brussels sprouts showing through. Then we're gonna take our bacon. You could use pancetta, would be good. Also, as a, an idea, let's see if I have enough bacon. I might cut just a, I'm cutting this in like little strips like this and just putting it on. Oh, I'm 
also going to take a teeny bit of olive oil, just a tiny, tiny bit on the edges there. I just, I just like to do that. Okay. Okay. I'm back. It took about eight minutes in a 500 degree oven to make this fantastic pizza. Look at the bottom of it. I have it. All, I put it on the bottom rack. I had preheated this cast iron grill. I really recommend if you're going to be doing pizza at home because this can stand the heat and you want to get your oven as high as you can get it. You're probably only going to be able to get it to about 450 in typical ovens. Now I have a new oven and it goes to 500, so yay on that. Uh, got the cornmeal under there, so look, slides right off. There's no, no sticking. We've got this amazing, you know, this is a Neapolitan pizza. This is just the way that they do it in the pizza houses in, in Italy. Um, dying to try this, so although you should really wait for your pizza to cool a little bit. But let's just see. Just hearing that crunch. What you want with your pizza, and I talk about this um, at the pizza dough video or you know the pizza dough uh, blog post, just making pizza dough. What you're looking for to get that authentic Italian pizza is you're looking for crispy and a little bit chewy. Um, let me see. If I'm not going to burn my mouth, but this is a fantastic combination because the shallots are giving that Brussels sprout some flavor, and then you got the crispy bacon. And I have to tell you, see how this stands up? This is what you want from a thin crust pizza. This is authentic Italian pizza. I'm going to come back on another video and show you another pizza, so I hope you go visit that one when it's up too. I'm going to use pears and prosciutto and goat cheese. Doesn't that sound great? In the meantime, Brussels sprouts, bacon, oh yeah. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe because I'd love for you to come back and I'd love for you to leave comments. And just to let you know, you can go to spinachtiger.com and you can email me through there any kind of cooking questions. I always get back to people. You can also watch me live streaming on Periscope, Periscope TV, at Spinach Tiger. And I just really appreciate you tuning in to SpinachTiger.com, cooking real food for real people from scratch.